Welcome everyone to Kitty Rising, where we use the tool of tarot to rise above and live our most abundant lives. Welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we are getting messages meant for you. So important messages your spirit team wants to share with you today. So some of you guys may have noticed we're in a different view kind of today. I'm using a different tripod. We're just testing this out. So we'll see how it goes. But we have three groups to choose from. I laid out a card for each group here. So group number one, card number 32, music. For group number two, we have card number 71, health. And for group number three, we have card number 13, Effort. So use your intuition and see which card is calling to you. Perhaps it's the number, the colors, the word, whatever you feel drawn to. That is the right answer. You can pause the video if you need more time. There will be timestamps and chapters down below, and I will see you in your reading. Welcome group number one to your reading. You chose card number 32, music. So your angels, your guides, your spirit team, they are calling you to embrace the power of music. Maybe life has been hectic lately, busy. This is a reminder when you're feeling off, feeling down, to put on your favorite music, to play something that inspires you, that uplifts you. Music can really change your state. So whenever you're feeling a dip in energy, feeling upset, feeling depressed, whatever it is, any state you want to get out of, play music that pumps you up, that inspires you, that makes you feel good. Music is very healing and your angels are letting you know that the vibrational frequency coming from the music you love is really going to heal you, it's going to uplift you, inspire you, all good things. It's going to lead to positive transformation here, increase creativity, it could even help with your partnerships because you're going to be feeling better. For those who have been feeling low energy, this is especially a message for you, a reminder. Play your favorite music. I know life can get so busy or maybe you're so into watching or like or reading audiobooks or listening to audiobooks or podcasts, which are amazing. I love them as well, but I can even like fit into this like I don't always listen to music on my own anymore. But now I know there's specific songs I can put on and it really uplifts my mood. I even started doing a 10 minute like, morning dance workout as my warm up for my workouts and it with music I love and it really pumps me up and sets me up for a great day. So that's just an example of how music can be powerful, but your angels, your guides are really coming through to share that message with you today. What messages do you have for group number one? Thank you, by the way, group number one for being here. Thank you for your precious time. Thank you to your guides, to my guides for assisting with the reading. Let's see, is the lighting okay? I feel like the tripod blocking the light. <laughs> yeah, we're just trying something out. We're gonna see how this goes today. The only thing I could see going wrong is a little cat coming by and rubbing against the tripod and moving it a little bit, but that seems to happen all the time anyways. But let's see what Spirit has to say to you. Friendships and union. Interesting. We kind of talked about your relationships briefly uh, with, I was talking about how the music could help with your relationships because it can uplift your mood and, you know, really help you spend more time with your loved ones in a more positive way, especially if you have been having low energy and feel like you haven't had the time to put forth towards your commitments. You're really being called to spend time with loved ones and maybe even enjoying music together, making music together, going to like a live show, enjoying it. Maybe you have some songs you really love with your partner, with your friends, your family that you can listen to. Maybe if you're feeling lonely or you miss them, you can put on that song and it can remind you of the love you share and make you feel really good and connected to them.
But I feel like there's also this message that for some of you, you know, you may have neglected the things you truly love in life, like music, having fun, and your your friendship and commitments and those you care about. And this could be a reminder from spirit to reach out to those you love, to make time for those you love. We get so busy with the daily grind, we can lose track like of how long it's been since we talked to someone we care about composure meditation is something that will be really beneficial for you at this time group number one especially if you're feeling stressed yes so multiple things are coming through it seems like group number one there has been some anxiety stress busyness going on and spirits calling you to break free of that through the use of music also, breath work, meditation. Mm -hmm. Let's get a look. Spirit, what messages do you have for group number one? Wow, divine messages. You know, when, when I was pulling this card, I was thinking about messages. I was thinking while you're listening to music, while you're dancing, you know, you could really be getting some messages from spirit and then divine messages came out. Because look how this looks like a download or some information, you know, very connected to source here. He or she, they. Um, you may receive a lot of messages through music itself like seeing synchronicities with numbers. Maybe you see like numbers like 32, but also you could be hearing lyrics in songs that are, that could be the way your spirit guides talk to you, get through to you. And it's definitely something to keep in mind. Let's see, spirit, what messages do you have for group number one? Isis, sacred contracts. For some of you, uh, new relationships could be coming in, especially friendships that are sacred, that are part of your soul contract, that are really help, are here to be a part of your, your soul, this journey, your, your purpose here. Silver. What messages do you have for group number one, Spirit? Kali Ma, spiritual transformation. I feel like a lot of you are going through a transformation right now. And that's the energy we've been picking up on. You know, the anxiety, the worry, the stress. Uh, maybe it's because there's a lot of change going on in your life. There could be changes in your relationships with friendships with you know your dynamics with connections to other people your con your contract could have run up or like you already learned the lessons maybe there's been some some friendships that have fallen apart or new ones coming in as well it just seems there's a lot of change here and you're going through a lot and it can be difficult but these changes that are happening are all part of your evolution of your, you know, your spiritual transformation, like this says, Kalima, like brings, when Kalima energy is around, it like takes away things that are no longer serving you. But, and it may seem really destructive and crazy, but through that chaos, through that destruction comes new life, new abundance, new opportunity. And spirit is here today to give you ways to ease the anxiety, ease the stress that you may be going through. Like we've been talking about the music, especially the meditation, you know, spending time with people you do love that you're still connected with strongly. And if you've been feeling lonely, there are soul family members definitely coming into your life. You've been going through whatever you've been going through a tough time, but on the other end, there's beautiful relationships. There's so much beauty in life ahead. Mm -hmm. 
And yes, there's something very important here. Maybe some of you are called to share your music. Your composure is making me think of writing music. Is that the word it's called? I'm not sure exactly, but I feel like a composure of music is a thing, but perhaps. Or I'm off a little bit with the wording, but some of you guys could be really um, called to share your music, but it could also be your words. It doesn't necessarily have to be music. Like your writing, your how you speak. I feel like that's really part of your soul contract is to use your voice. I'm probably thinking of composer, like the person that composes the music. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Whoops, a tarot card fell to the ground. Let's see what that is. It must have some sort of significance here. The three of spirals, which is the three of wands. We'll see how that fits in. Let's get a couple of these. Spirit, what else for group number one? What does group number one need to hear right now? The watcher, queen of mirrors, which is the queen of cups. Yes, you are very creative, aren't you? So we have water energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like your spirit team really wants you to create in whatever way that means to you. The three of wands, the three of spirals. Is spirals the wands? Yeah, that is the wands. What is the scrolls is the, um, the swords. But anyways, the three of wands is about putting your plans into action. So how can you, how can you do this? How can you make music? How can you create in your own unique way? You're meant to share your gifts with the world, group number one. Whoa. <laughs> psyche the world i just literally said the world i said you're meant to share gifts with the world and the world just flopped out <laughs> group number one you are meant to do this and also there's this message here from spirit that it's the end of a difficult time for you the spiritual transformation is coming to a completion i feel like you guys are getting towards the end of difficult time or lessons to be learned you know you're really you, you've come a long way and you're about to enter a new cycle of life. And that could be what Spirit's preparing you for, wanting you to prepare for this Three of Wands here. We have the Devil in Reverse. Yes, there could be some codependent, toxic relationships that are ending in your life or have ended and it's all for the best it's you had a sacred contract with them there are lessons to be learned you know karmic stuff going on and now it's you know it could be painful to let go of them but you're you're going into a new cycle with really amazing soul family soulmate type energy coming through a lot of happiness and joy and creativity and maybe you can even make music through the pain through the struggles you've gone through and share that and again it doesn't necessarily have to be music it can be any creative thing that could be part of what you share with the world this experience in whatever way any method you feel drawn to share it with Ten of Stones, this is a uh, Ten of Pentacles, this is a wealth card. <laughs> I feel like by sharing your art, by sharing your creations, by sharing your story, you could really become quite abundant. Very abundant. Wow. On the bottom of the deck, we have the death card in reverse. And when this card's in reverse, it could be that we're resisting change. We're resisting the transformation that's upon us. And Spirit wants you to know, group number one, it's okay to let go. It's okay to release. And it's okay to move forward. You don't need to stay stuck or grip onto things that are no longer working. It's time to release them, to grow, spread your wings, and fly. Because you are meant for more. You're meant for so much. 
And sometimes, you know, it's just part of the human experience. We cling on to things. We don't want to let go of people, especially. But this could be anything for you. But you're releasing something, someone, some people even maybe, that have been holding you back. It could even be releasing some bad habits as well. With the devil in reverse, this could be bad lifestyle habits, drinking drugs, eating too much or a lot of processed stuff, negative self-talk, consuming a lot of news, you know, it could be a lot of, uh, it could be anything that's considered um, indulgent or bad for you or from keeping you off your true path. And for most of you, I sense that it is something to do with relationships, a lot with friendships as well. But it can be any sort of connection where you had the sacred contracts with them. And you've learned you know, your lessons through this. You know, you resolved the karma. And now with Kalima energy, it's being taken away so you can spread your wings and fly and transform and move on to this next phase of life. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, let's grab a couple of tea leaves to wrap up your reading. Spirit, what else for group number one? Kite vacation. Okay. Vacation may be in order for some of you. That could really help you relax and rest, gain your composure. Pay attention to your health. Oh, maybe Spirit's really calling your attention to rest um, and vacation because there has been that stress we've been talking about. So take care of yourself. Make sure you're resting and sleeping enough, that you're eating right, that you're having pleasure in your life too with the music. I feel like you're making positive changes though with this devil card in reverse that will help your health for sure. This three of wands energy could be making like proper plans and it, more so implementing the plans. The two of wands is more the planning. The three is more the implementation. So maybe this is you implementing the changes like eating healthier, moving your body more, meditating, you know, dancing, listening to music. <laughs> Success assured with good plants and hard work. Yes. And someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Yes, I really do think this is spirit confirming that there has been someone or some people or some sort of relationship and connection in your life that has been preventing you from truly reaching your goals and living the life you truly want. In, for an example, like with your health, maybe that you've been wanting to make positive health changes and other positive lifestyle changes in your life, and maybe someone in your life was putting you down for that or saying you shouldn't do that and they weren't supportive of you, so they were coming between you and your health and your goals. But it could be in any way pertaining to you and your unique situation. Mm-hmm. But that concludes your reading. These are the things Spirit wanted you to know most at this time. I hope this reading resonated. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. Leave a comment if you wish. If you would like to book a private reading with me, my information's down in the description. I'm so grateful you're here. I wish you all the best. I love you so much, group number one, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome, group number two, to your reading. You chose this card here, number 71, health. So spirit is definitely calling attention to your health right now. We're, of course, going to be uh, drawing more cards to see what area specifically, but I feel like working on your health, focusing on your own well-being will bring a lot of empowerment into your life. Purple here makes me think of power and also 71 breaks down to 
eight in numerology is the power uh, is the number of power <laughs> abundance manifestation and maybe you've been working on your goals and other things in life thinking that's the most important way to manifest your desires but through working on your health by feeling optimally healthy by having high energy high vitality you'll be able to even reach your goals and even faster and and better than you imagined. So how can you implement better health today? Incorporating more movement, more sleep, more water, cutting out processed foods, making sure you're taking time to work on your emotional, spiritual, mental health as well. But Spirit's definitely drawing your attention to your health this time, and it's in an empowering way, not in a way to scare you. It's just letting you know that uh, even if you're feeling fine right now, maybe there's certain areas uh, you've been neglecting and when you really prioritize your health, it will make everything else in life even better as well. You'll be able to do anything. When you feel healthy, you, you can, happy and energized, literally you can do anything. Without your health, life is a lot tougher, right? So let's see what else wants to come through for you here. Thank you so much for... Being here, group number two, thank you to your spirit team. Thank you to my spirit team for assisting with today's reading. Spirit, what messages do you have for group number two? Harmony and resolution. Resolution made me think of reaching your goals, resolving any problems you've had, bringing harmony into your relationships. I feel like... Spirit's really trying to emphasize the ripple effects of good health and prioritizing your well-being. It will help bring harmony to your relationships and to all that you do and help you have a clear mind and energy to overcome any obstacle, resolve any problem. We have no here. <laughs> Interesting. Some people, you may be like, oh, well, I can just, you know, I, I move a lot at my job. That's enough exercise. Or, you know, I only ate a couple donuts. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's like, no, that's not the right path. Um, we'll have to see. But I feel like if, what, if you were thinking about something when this card was drawn, I feel like Spirit is saying no. And maybe... Spirit's also calling you to say no more often. Maybe you give in to um, social or like peer pressure a little bit. Like if you're at work and someone's brought donuts in. I don't know why donuts keeps coming up. <laughs> and you decided you're not eating processed food six days a week or something or at all. And or you're cutting back on sugar. But they come around and you just say yes because it's there. You know, practicing saying no. Or when people are like, let's just go out tonight. Come on. I never get to go out with you. Like, they just keep saying things to you, trying to pressure you to go out, even though you want to get enough sleep and you want to rest so you can work well tomorrow. Uh, really being able to say no when things don't serve you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there could be some people-pleasing tendencies. Oh, I thought I was going to drop. Spirit, what messages do you have for group number two? Sedna. There is always enough. Interesting. We'll see how that fits in. I feel like there is a message, though, with this. There's always enough. It made me think of abundance. So you could maybe not be focused on your health because you're worried about money and finances and work and you just want to focus on that. And you're worried you won't have enough to get by. And you, yeah, just health hasn't been the priority. But Spirit wants you to know there's always enough. There's enough abundance. There's enough time. Oh, there is always enough time. That's it. There's always enough time to incorporate healthy habits. It's just what you prioritize. We all have the same amount of hours in a day. You know, we just have to prioritize things. You might say, there's not enough time for me to work out. There's not enough time for me to do this. There's not enough money for me to buy healthy organic food. You know, there's, oh, when there's a will, there's a way. Oops. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pick those up. Ooh. 
rest came out. And that also goes with there's not enough time. You know, maybe you're staying up late, not sleeping as much because you feel like there's not enough time in the day. There is. Maybe, like, are you watching TV at night? Could you cut some of that out and go to bed instead? <laughs> there is enough time. There is enough time. It's all about what you prioritize. Watch your words. Okay, our words are spells. Our words are powerful. You could be saying things like, I'm anything negative, maybe even like criticizing yourself. It's interesting. No is above being like, I'm not good enough. I, I'm fat, right? I'm ugly or I, I'm worthless. You know, really mean things to yourself. Spirit wants you to watch what you're saying. No more, no more talking down on yourself. No more talking down on your situation. Cause you know what, what we speak, we get what, you know, what you say you receive. So if you're talking about how life is hard, there's never enough time, you know, you'll never have enough time then. Like there is like, if you think making money is hard, being healthy is hard, it's going to continue being hard. If you keep saying, I can't, I don't sleep well, I never sleep well, you're just going to continue not sleeping well. So maybe even just for like a week, just test it out. You know, watch what you're saying. Make sure you're not having super negative self-talk or speaking negatively about things in your in that are going on in your life. Maybe you say things like, I hate healthy food, <laughs> or, you know, healthy food's expensive. You're just going to keep experiencing what you're saying. So why not try out saying things that are hom harmonious to what you want? I sleep so well. I wake up and feel so refreshed and energized and ready to tackle the day. I am healthy. I am in my perfect health. I am my perfect weight. I feel great. I look great. I am great. <laughs> Stuff like that, you know, it'll be so beneficial. I said, you know, I'm trying not to say that a lot. <laughs> um, but negative self-talk can lead to bad mental, emotional, spiritual health. Spirit, what else for group number two? Five of stones. This is the card of lack. A lack mentality, a scarcity mindset. So spirit's confirming the negative self-talk again. The feelings of lack. It's really over. There is not enough. There is enough. And when you're so focused on what you don't have, look, her head's down. You don't see the abundance that's around you. The possibilities, the opportunities all around you. And the five of stones also can portray ill health as well. Your mind is so powerful, group number two. So really starting with your thoughts and working on your mindset will make it a lot easier for you then to do physical changes in your life, like the exercise and the eating better whatever it is you're needing. Well, look, we have strength here. You are so much stronger than you think. You are capable of achieving anything. And if you've been feeling ill in any sort of way, there is strength and health coming your way. It just starts with your mindset, believing it's possible and making these small changes every day, saying no to what's not healthy to you and saying yes to what is good for you rest, nourishing your mind, body, and soul, and taking away any things that don't do that. And we have the Knight of Mirrors, or this is the Knight of Cups in reverse. And it's called the Dreamer. Yeah, Spirit doesn't want you to give up on your dreams. We have the Celtic owl, the hanged man on the bottom. And this, I feel like spirit's calling you to take a, a time out, take a rest. It, we have rest here as well. It could be away from certain people in your life, you know, that are always influencing you in maybe a negative way when it comes to your health specifically. Can you take a step back, rest, reflect, do some introspection and really take a look and be like, what is working in my life? What isn't? What changes can I implement? What can I do to live a healthier life? How can I improve my mental health, my physical health, spiritual health? 
The two main things coming from spirit for sure are more restful sleep and improving yourself, the talk you have in your head, your, how you, your words specifically. Working on your mindset and how you speak to yourself and about your situation and resting. When you get a good night's sleep, that's going to really help set your day to make healthy changes. When you don't sleep well, you really, you, I, at least me personally, I, I make poor eating choices. <laughs> I've worked really hard to sleep well. I, I just feel called to tell you guys this. One thing that's helped me, I, I've heard this for a while from Dr. Andrew Huberman. I recommend the um, Huberman Lab podcast if you are interested, especially in health, which could be really helpful for you, that getting sunlight in your eyes in the mornings can drastically help how you sleep at night. It does something with mel melatonin production. Or it just regulates certain hormones that are related to your sleep. And now I walk in the mornings for a half hour, not terribly long, you know, and I get my steps in, my cardio for the day. And I also have noticed ever since I sleep so much better. I used to take a melatonin supplement and I used to sleep okay, but I would wake up because Emmy will wake me up, my cat, uh, just for a little bit and I would stay up, but now I can fall right back asleep. I just pet her, we cuddle and we go back to bed. <laughs> I swear that has really helped me and I've heard it for a while and I finally started implementing it. But there's so many other things. And first of all, it's believing that you can sleep. When you have all these thoughts, especially right when you get into bed, like, oh God, I hope I fall asleep or this will be hard having these negative thoughts about it, negative words about it. It's almost impossible when you think that way. And we had the dreamer in reverse. With maybe you haven't been even getting that deep sleep to dream. Interesting. I feel like a lot of messages are coming through for you. You might have a longer reading than the, the last. Okay, spirit. Let's get some tea leaves now. Persevere, and you will overcome problems. Yeah, spirit wants to confirm. It may be a long journey, it may seem difficult, but you will get by any health issues or you will improve your health if you stick to your goals and you keep going. Hydration is coming through. <laughs> I see the camel making sure you're having enough water. Mm -hmm. But you will get through this. Anything that's going on, there is strength coming, you know, you're really going to come out the other side healthier, happier, stronger than ever. Some of you may be called to do strength training. It's really important um, on our aging bones. Just getting even some light dumbbells to start with could be really helpful looking into that. Great passion. Okay, what I'm getting from this card is to find workouts and exercise routines that you actually enjoy doing that you're excited about. So myself, for example, I love my workout routine right now. I'm super in it though, but it took me a while to get to this spot where I'm doing this every day. Like I record it. Oh, getting something you can measure is amazing. Look, I worked on 99 minutes today. Going. <laughs> um, but just so, for example, I finally found what works out works for me. Uh, and I, did I mention this already? I think it was in the last group. So I start my day, <laughs> I do this priming technique from Tony Robbins. And then I do a 10 minute dance, like warm up, and it's, it has great music. It makes me feel good. I'm moving my body, feeling happy, singing, you know, it gets my energy up. And then after that, every day I do a different workout only for like 10 to 12 minutes. Like Mondays and Thursdays, I do arms. Tuesday, uh, like a squat workout. Wednesday, today, <laughs> I did a core workout. Uh, Friday, I do a booty workout. You know, it's like, it's pretty quick. I do free YouTube videos, by the way. These are all free. And um, the, the dance workouts I do are by Embody, E-M-B-O-D-Y. And then I just look up, you can find your own videos, you know, because this is about finding your own passion. But you can find free workout videos. And then after that, I go for a walk in nature and I love it so much. And then after that, I do yoga. I used to only do yoga and then I started to do a little bit of cardio. So yoga is what my original passion was. And then I built onto that. And I did not mean for that to sound overwhelming. That does sound like a lot, especially if you don't do much movement at all right now. But once you start moving and you start finding something you like, you'll build onto it. So yoga was what got me into moving. 
I love yoga. <laughs> and that really is what, what started my movement journey. So find what feels good to you. If you don't like something, you don't have to do it. Like if you're like, I hate running, then don't run. Because if you don't like it, you're not going to do it, you know? So what do you like? You know, dancing, you know, it doesn't really even seem like a workout <laughs> uh, a lot of the time. I mean, it kind of does, but it's fun. So you can find something, yoga, uh, walk, and it doesn't even have to be intensive, just getting your steps in, it's finding something that works for you. There's so many different workout methods. And if you don't like one, then yeah, again, just don't do it. Spirit, what else for group number two? Temporary situation. Wow. Spirit's really coming through to say this is all temporary. You, you will get through it. You'll overcome problems. Any difficulties you're going through right now are temporary. You will get through this. You will. And you're going to come out again stronger, wiser, ready to conquer the world. Gavel. Involvement with the law. You know, a lot of times when I see this, like I do right now, the gavel, it makes me think, like hitting the down hard, <laughs> like wake up group number two. The time is now. The time is now. Why wait? You can implement small changes today. Mm -hmm. And also I feel like this is, you don't want to wait until things get serious. Cause like the law I'm thinking like seriousness. You know, when you actually are sick or you're actually ill or any, like, have health issues, you know, you don't want to wait till then to, to make healthy decisions. Healthy decisions now should be, are, you know, primarily we should think of it as preventative. I know this reading was a lot and there was a lot of advice from spirit and it might seem overwhelming, but start with what, what makes you the most excited. Maybe it's the working out, maybe it's the eating, maybe it's the sleeping, you know, whatever it is that's the most appealing to you, start with that. And maybe you're, for, you know, this is a general reading, so you can be further along. But there's definitely some area that spirit wanted to draw your attention to. And again, for most of you, the sleep and the, ne the negative self-talk are a great place to start. But take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I hope you found this reading valuable. I hope it resonated. You got the information, the guidance you needed at this time. If you did, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment if you wish. If you would like to book a private reading with me, my information is in the description box. I'm truly so grateful you're here. I wish you all the best. I love you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Welcome group number three to your reading. What you need to hear right now, you chose card 13, effort. So your spirit team is definitely calling your attention to now is the time to apply yourself. Maybe there's been a, a long period of, of planning, of thinking, of dreaming about things you want, things you want to do. Now is the time to apply that to make effort towards your goals. Create a structure, create a plan, and stick with it. Do it. Uh, this is really about stepping into your power, taking action, stepping up, yeah. Laying the foundations for the life you truly want and desire. Again, instead of just dreaming about it, knowing what you want is great, but are you really going to get it without action? Action is needed at this time. We're going to see how so and to what this pertains to. Let's see what spirit has to say. Thank you so much for being here, group number three. Thank you to your spirit team, to my spirit team for assisting with today's reading. Spirit, what messages do you have for group number three? Well, strength and guidance. Yes. If you need help getting started by knowing what action to take, Ask for help. Seek a mentor. Seek a guide. Ask someone who's gone through something similar. Watch YouTube videos. You know, just whatever it is, find guidance. If you feel like you don't even know where to start on this, really seek guidance.
guidance. And also know that you are stronger than you give yourself credit for. You might be like, oh, I don't have the energy to do this. I don't have the time. You do. You do. <laughs> and I feel like your guides right now are like, excuses, excuses. <laughs> um, but you do. You definitely do. Spirit, what messages do you have for group number three? Compassion. Okay. Have some compassion for yourself, spirits also say, and your guides also have compassion. You know, they might be like, come on, now's the time. No more sitting around. But they're not, they want you to know, they, they understand where you've been, your life, everything. And they're not trying to be hard on you. They're just saying now is an auspicious time. Now is the time to put in the effort, to put in the action towards your goals. And don't be hard on yourself that you haven't done it already or that you're not where you need to be. There could be this energy, some people in this group, you've been comparing yourself to others and feeling bad about certain things. And that's just preventing you from taking action even longer um, than needed. And it's, you should never compare yourself to other people. We are all on our own unique journey. And believe me, I get it. Been there, done that, still struggle with that sometimes. But I, now I make an effort to, one, stay off social media. <laughs> I have a 15-minute timer for all of the things combined. Besides YouTube, I let myself watch YouTube videos. But, um, like, you know, Instagram, Facebook, and stuff. Because I found myself comparing myself to others and thinking I should be more ahead than I am, etc., so maybe that's, someone must have wanted or needed to hear that in this group. Um, yeah, but not comparing ourselves to others is important because, again, we're all on our own unique journey, our own path. And now it's time for you to live your life. Maybe there's just been too much time wishing yeah that's coming through again wishing that you had certain things and if that's true you know uh it's time to change the course of action to do things differently spirit what messages do you have we have kadesh sexual wisdom so this is like the feminine energy here creation energy here it you are a powerful co-creator of your world, of your universe, of your life. And you can create anything. It just takes effort. Strength and guidance and compassion. Because you will fall down sometimes. That's just a part of life. But nothing's a failure as long as we pick ourselves back up again. You know, we get out there, we try again, we keep going. You will never truly fail if you keep going. Just find another way to do things. You are meant to create. You are meant to be a co-creator. And I feel like you've gathered the wisdom, the knowledge you've needed to know what you want. And now is the time to take that action. You have this feminine energy and now it's time to apply the masculine. No matter what your gender is, what you identify as, we both have feminine and masculine energy. And I feel like You've been deeply in your feminine and nothing's wrong with that. I feel like you're, oops, you're very intuitive. You're very creative. You have an amazing imagination and things you want to do. It, it, but now it's time to implement these ideas and that you have and take action and make them reality. Spirit, what messages do you have for group number three? High Priest of Atlantis Chakra Healing. Interesting. Spirit may be calling you to your sacral chakra specifically, but there might be some imbalance in your chakras. And the ones that are standing out with Kadesh here is the sacral chakra, but we also have a lot of yellow here, solar plexus. So... The blockages start at the like the root, you know, and if the root's blocked, then all of the chakras are blocked. And the root is our security, our safety. And then the sacral, which is highlighted here, is our creativity. And then the solar plexus is next, and that is our confidence, our power. I feel like spirit is calling your attention to claim your power, to use your creative energy to... Build the life you truly desire. And if you're feeling really stuck, if you're feeling off, 
look into chakra healing, maybe even working with crystals, and you can get guidance on this. And again, be compassionate and, and soft with yourself. We have a lot of green here, a heart chakra as well. It could be anything, but I feel like what's highlighted here is definitely the sacral, uh, the root, and yeah, the, the, the first three chakras. So the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus. This could be really helpful to look into. Uh, the Gem Goddess just did a really great video, so free on YouTube. I'll try and remember to link it, but if I don't, um, the Gem Goddess, it's one of her most recent videos, either like maybe two videos ago, but this is a timeless reading, so uh, in April 2024, you can look at her channel, and she goes through each of the of the chakras, and she talks about what they look like balanced and imbalanced and also gives uh, and also gives an archetype for each of the balanced and imbalanced chakras and also things you can do when they are off. I thought she did a great job on that. Highly recommend. I love her. <laughs> She's, you like her channel too. If you, I'm sure a lot of you or all of you already know her. Oh, wow, I love this. Beautiful maiden or butterfly made in beautiful change. Yes, you're about to have major transformations in such a beautiful way. I feel like there just was a little roadblock. You know, something's imbalanced. You've been really in your feminine, so the, the imbalance of the masculine and feminine. And you've been maybe more up in your upper chakras, using your intuition, all of your really in your third chakra, in your crown, which is fine, but really up in the sky, you know, <laughs> um, in Spirit's calling you to get more grounded and to, you know, step more in to the masculine so you can make changes, take action. And while you get more balanced here, heal any imbalances, beautiful changes are coming. Mm -hmm. I love this energy. So beautiful. Spirit's really coming through today just to give pretty practical advice, it seems, for each group and really point out ways that maybe you didn't see that'll help you achieve whatever it is you want at this time. Spirit, what messages do you have for group number three? Two of mirrors, which is the two of cups. How beautiful these swans together. Perhaps some of this effort could be applied to your relationships. Maybe there's been an imbalance with your relationships. And some compassion is needed. And also more balance. Maybe there's been more give, more take by one person. And although we shouldn't keep score, Maybe Spirit's calling us to put in more action, more effort into the relationships we want. Maybe you've been so focused on your own life and what's been going on. Maybe some friendships, some relationships have kind of been put in the back burner. And Spirit's drawing your attention to this. It could be family members. But it could be any connection. Then maybe now is the day to reach out, to say something. To move forward with this relationship. Maybe there has been issues before. But if you want this to, you know, to move forward, to have a beautiful change in this connection, make the effort instead of waiting for the other person to reach out. That could just be for one person or a few people here, but definitely want to come through. Spirit, what messages do you have for group number three? And then we have the nine of mirrors reversed and the two of scrolls reversed. Okay, yeah. The Nine of Mirrors is you're feeling like your dreams aren't coming true, your wishes aren't coming true, like things aren't working out in your favor. And spirit is drawing your attention to why this may be today. The imbalance is here. Energy isn't flowing correctly. And the Two of Scrolls upright would show that there's a blockage, but spirit wants you to know you are overcoming this. Some of you guys could have been going through a creative block. Um, that's being lifted. You're going to be inspired again. And this really could be because maybe the sacral chakra was in balance. I really, really think looking into the chakras and, and 
looking into ways you can bring them into balance. I think it could be very helpful for you, for sure, Spirit thinks so. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Stones, which is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you may want a different job or more money or a better job or, you know, to get a raise or promotion and more effort is needed there as well. Instead of just hoping you could have more money, wishing for more money, wishing for a better job, you know, that just wishing for it usually is not enough. I know we all love the manifestation stuff. And again, I feel like you guys have been in your upper chakras and you're like, maybe if I just visualize it enough and I think about what I want enough, then it will come to me. But spirits like you, there is action needed as well. And if you're really miserable with your current situation, what changes can you make? What actions can you make? Can you spend some time looking for new jobs, applying to new jobs, looking into ways to make more money and to starting your side business. Maybe you've always wanted to like sell your art or become a healer and you've just been wanting to do that stuff, but you haven't been taking the action to do so. And again, there's this energy coming through to ask for guidance, to seek a mentor, to seek help from someone else who can guide you on this new path you want to take. You don't need to go at it alone. It will really help you and it will speed up the process by modeling someone, by getting a mentor or a guide, a coach, whatever it is pertaining to your situation. Mm -hmm. It will really help implement these beautiful changes you want to make. Let's get some tea leaves over here. over here. There's always one I can't pick up on the bottom. Let's, Let's look at it actually. <laughs> um, a goal-oriented person. Yes, you have goals. Now it's time to shoot for it, to go for it. <laughs> I think this is great. It's like, no wonder that was stuck to the table. <laughs> Spirit, what messages do you have for group number three? Turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. <laughs> Dogs getting together with friends. Okay, I feel like these kind of go together. And this is that message coming back to whoever it may pertain to that there was some altercation, something between you and a friend or some relationship. And, you know, you're wanting to make amends, but both of you are kind of behaving stupid, not reaching out, having too much pride or ego to reach out to the other person. Spirit's saying, if you want this relationship to continue and to thrive, get together with them, call them up first, take the effort yourself instead of waiting around. Because sometimes that time just passes so much time and then it really can be too late. So why wait any longer? If you care about this person, you want to be friends, Spirit's really coming through to say, make the call, send the text. Whatever it is you got to do, make the effort instead of just waiting for the other person to do it. If they truly mean something to you and you want them in your life. Spirit, what else for a group? Number three. Wow, money will be coming to you. Yeah, when you take that action, you go for that job, make those changes. Money. Love that. Mm-hmm. Implementing the advice spirits been discussing will bring forth money. Wow, this came out in the last group as the last card as well. Involvement with the law. And the, I don't really see this as law. You know what? I see this as like banging on the table. Like, come on, group number three, wake up. Now's the time. Take this action. Do it before things get too serious. Like, you no longer can even be friends with this person because it's been years. Or, you know, or... You, your relationship, your romantic relationship falls apart because you haven't been putting in the time or you never get that job you wanted to apply, but now it's too late because they closed applications. Now is the time to make that effort, to make choices that align with what you want. And again, if it seems overwhelming, you can put it into smaller, more actionable goals. And the main advice from Spirit is, if you're feeling overwhelmed with this, is to seek guidance. 
maybe even find, talking to your friends about our people who are like-minded. But again, um, this could be a business mentor or a mentor in whatever it is you're wanting to improve and work on. A financial advisor, perhaps. A chakra healer. <laughs> Any sort of healer. Wonderful. I feel like there is a lot of advice here and I hope this is resonating. I hope you found this helpful and practical and that you could apply this and see this money roll in and these beautiful changes happen for you. Group number three. <laughs> that concludes your reading. Again, I hope it resonated and I hope you found it valuable. If you did enjoy this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment if you wish. If you would like to book a private reading with me, my email is down below. I'm truly so grateful you're here. I wish you all the best. I love you so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, group number three. Yeah.